what is going on everybody it is Robert Robert Bridge YouTube um, back here for if the title is going to be correct it's going to be um, this is me breaking down 2019 um, some of my favorite things that I picked up favorite places that I've been things that I've seen movies I've watched um, the reason, I, the reason why I didn't say that with such confidence is because this is the second time I'm shooting this video. Um, and I did that for another video where I sat here and I ranted and I ranted and then I stopped. Um, yeah. I'm censoring myself because <coughs> I don't know why, but I am. Uh, anyway, 2019 has been almost a tale of two years. And one. <coughs> the first half of the year, um, we went to Disney, had a great time, came back, we moved. Then from then on, we dealt with a lot of adversity and a lot of health issues. Um, me with my knee and my shoulder. Um, Carolyn had issues with asthma and allergies. Um, you know, then I dealt with the uh, whole diabetes thing. Uh, so the first half of the year kind of sucked. Um, second half of the year wasn't so bad. Um, went to Disney. Had a great time. So I mean, we had that going for us at least. Went to Disney twice. Um, uh, I mean, you know, my company got bought out and... July, so I've been dealing with that, um, that changeover and just this, that shift in dynamic, which, you know, as of today, I have had no, no bad, nothing really bad to say, um, you know, they've taken good care of us, um, so far, um, and that, you know, there's pl more plans for 2020. So we'll see how things shake out. Um, I know at least for myself, talking to my boss, um, there's more opportunity for me coming to kind of learn and grow and do different things. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, just to kind of make myself more versatile with the company. Um, learning, you know, staying in my role, but learning another one as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, it's just it's just been a year. Um, you know, the first full year with our nephew. Um, he is he is awesome. Uh, you know, I want to show you guys pictures of him, but I just can't. Um, my sister-in-law would literally shoot me if I did because. But and I mean to be honest, um, you know, it's not my place to to really you know show them off um without permission so that's you know i'm gonna stick by that um <sighs> let's talk about pops since that's why most of you guys are here um i'm just gonna do this kind of quickly um i had it all planned out i did it really well the first time but you ain't gonna see that version <laughs> You don't have to see that version at all. Um, some of my favorite pickups of the year that I will show you that I have readily available. Um, obviously, is the Marty McFly Darth Vader. Um, I am a huge Back to the Future fan. Um, I love the movies. I watched them pretty much regularly, um, I'm trying, I said trying to get into the comic books, but Carolyn has not bought, will, or will not let me buy the comic, the, they have two, uh, volumes that have most, if not all of the comics in them, hopefully we'll get them soon, I can start reading them, um, I, if you saw in a previous video, I have a couple of the the Biff to the Future ones, which I which I want to get to reading as well. Um, 
My thing with comic books is I like to have collections or volumes. That way I can read the whole thing. Not have to buy one and then try and figure out where the next one is. So I do have a lot of volumes and compendiums on my la on my uh, on my tablet, <coughs> but I want the Back to the Future ones. I want to read those. Um, so Marty, um, this is another one of my favorites of the year. It's Super Grover, and if I rem I'm remiss to say, these are not all pops that came out this year. These are the ones I brought into my collection this year. Um, another one is Zach Morris, um, goes without saying that I was a kid of the 90s, so I love Safe by the Bell, um, definitely a cool pop, definitely a pop <laughs> I'm proud to own. Uh, this one, if you watched my live streams towards the end of last year, right around Thanksgiving, when they had the 90s cartoon boxes come out, and the only ones I really wanted were the Wildcat Chase and the Monterey Jack Chase. I never got either of them. I got one. It is the Monterey Jack Chase. Um, one of my good friends um, that is, a, is one of my vendors uh, actually surprised me that for my birthday. We had talked about pops that I wanted and... Um, you know, you know, if you don't know, my desk is, you know, pretty much a toy nerd uh, dream. <coughs> Streamed with Marvel Legends and Black Series and Pops, and uh, it, it changes periodically, but it's, there's always some kind of fun co, and there's always some nerdy stuff on there, so. Yeah, so I got that for my birthday from him. Um, he didn't know the extent that I went or you know the the drive that I had to want that pop but yeah I bought way too many of those mystery boxes but I have him now and then finally the chase that got away when I was when I just started out and I got excited to get my first chase ever and you know I did with every <coughs> Every collector does, and I traded him. But got him back. The uh, Flop Snowy Krampus Hot Topic exclusive. Um, definitely one of the, my favorite pops of the year that I picked up. But my favorite pop of the year goes to one of Carolyn and myself's favorite movies um it was part of our engagement pictures part of our wedding pretty much anything related to this movie we have to buy not everything but most things the Carl and Ellie two-pack from SDCC San Diego Comic-Con I remember um, staying up, I was watching, I think I was watching the mega stream with Jetta and all them, and freaking out, because that thing didn't come online right away, it took me like 20 minutes to get that, but I finally did, and hang on one more second, I can show you my second favorite. Sorry about that, but it comes in this big old box that kind of gives it away as to what it is. Yeah, I'm blocking the whole screen with this big old box. Can't even fit it all in the in the in the viewfinder here, but 
Yes, that was the up half with Kevin. <coughs> a little mad at Funko. It took him so long to come out with that because I should have used that on our wedding day. Um, basically, our wedding day we had um, we had some friends of ours make some custom vinyl mations um, that were up themed. That we had. Carolyn had made a little like cardboard. She went and got a cardboard house and we painted it to look like the up house and stuff like that. And then um, her cousin made a cupcake stand that looked like the up house as well. And all the cupcakes were the balloons. Um, definitely could have used <laughs> used that back then, but once again, you know we you know. We love Up. Um, I've loved Up for years. And Carl and Ellie 2 Pack seem to run in my collection because I actually own the Vinyl Mation 2 Pack collection of Young know, Carl and Ellie. Um, the Carl and Ellie that we had custom designed for us were um, taken from uh, like, right, like right before their wedding day. <laughs> You know, laying on the blanket with the and loading up at the at the, at the sky. We we used the, that design for our wedding. Um, so I mean, it was <coughs> up is just one of our favorite movies. Uh, long story short, on that. Um, I mean, I do have other pops that I love that are not here because they're either in boxes or they're at work. Um, I loved the uh, Walgreens exclusive Octo Spidey. Um, that was a great pop. Um, the Captain America with the uh, with the little with the little uh, um, lightning uh, pieces, and then the broken broken shield and Mjolnir. Uh, that's another awesome pop. Um, but probably my favorite pop that I have at work is one that was given to me by one of, by one of my coworkers. Um, I mean, it's nothing valuable. Again, you know, I don't, you know, I wouldn't expect someone to buy me anything valuable for Christmas like that. But um, <coughs> it was from Star Wars: The Last Jedi. It was actually the caretaker. So I have that at work. Um, that is probably one of my Pretty much, pretty much, gifts will always be my favorite. Um, you know, um, I have, or I still have. Um, last year, uh, Brian and Brittany gave me um, Adam Bomb, and that's been on my desk for a year. Uh, that ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Um, I've got um, two pops that I won from. Uh, Sometimes pops that will never go anywhere. Um, you know, I've won a bunch of pops from uh, JC. I guess you can call them nerd, Nerdology 101 now. Whatever you're going by, JC. You're my boy. Um, yeah, I've won a couple pops from him. Those won't go anywhere. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Pop wise has definitely been a good year. Um, numbers wise, um, the collection definitely went up in value. I'm not gonna. Well, I mean, even even if I said my number, it wouldn't be bragging because it's nothing compared to a lot of you guys. But for me, it's a lot. Um, I'll say that much. Yeah, you know, I had a lot of great friends this year picked up some pops for me, um, and I just want to thank them. Um, Anything that I won from someone, you know, want to thank you. Um, I haven't really entered a lot of giveaways lately, only because I don't know. I can't answer that question. I I, I either miss them or, you know, it's it's something that I already own, so I I don't want to, you know, be that guy to win it and just you know keep it. I'd rather let someone who doesn't own that that particular item win it. Um, you know, collection-wise, uh, I just want to diverse it a little bit, um, 
Then we have some legends. We got some black series this year. Um, and that's for it. I mean, I want to get more into comic books on a small scale. I'm not going to go nuts, but um, like I said, I want to get the Back to the Future stuff and read that. Um, and then just read the ones that I bought that I haven't read yet. Um, read a lot of cool stuff on my tablet. Um, that I'm looking forward to reading when, when I have a chance to and the opportunity to. Um, we'll do that. Um, movie wise this year was a good year for movies. Um, Toy Story 4 was awesome. Uh, what else did I see this year? I don't think what else I saw this year. I mean, obviously I saw Endgame. Which was an, I'm just... Fans making a weird, I thought the dogs were making a weird noise, but this is just a fan. Um, so obviously I saw Endgame, obviously. As of this video, I have seen, um, The Rise of Skywalker. I actually went into a lengthy, um, spoiler-free review of it, but I'll actually do that in another video. Um, maybe I'll do that, maybe I'll do that tomorrow, or during the week, I'll kind of talk about it in a, and try doing the spoiler-free, in a spoiler-free manner. So, you might get one more video out of me this year, but, um, you know, going forward, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to 2020. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of things are happening. Um, you know, going to Disney a bunch of times. Um, possibly going to New York. Um, I said I want to go. <coughs> I just got to try to make the financials work. Um, on that, because the time period that the party is going to be occurring is right around the time that my Disney trip needs to be paid off by. So if I can get the Disney trip paid off, and I can put money away for a hotel and some airplane tickets, we'll go to New York for a couple of days. But, you know, that's a a lot of money um, but you know obviously if you go I would love to go um, and said so I haven't been back home in New York and you know at the time of the party it'll be about five and a half years <coughs> right now it's just just shy of it'll be five years in June so we're keeping that net calendar rolling but um I guess I'll just wind up with you know, my hopes for the channel. I hope I can get back into, um, regular content. Uh, you know, I don't blame the people who have unsubscribed or have just tuned me out, um, you know, for not putting out, you know, content regularly. Um, you know, part of that is also, I haven't been in a lot of your lives and, you know, in, in the comments in your videos recently. So, you know, I don't blame anyone. You know, whoever is here watching my videos and, you know, you know, dropping me comments and showing me love, I appreciate it. Um, you know, in the new year, I do have um, stickers I will be sending out, um, you know, to some people. Um, you know, if you want one, let me know. Um, I know a couple of you guys have already reached out and I now owe stickers to, to my giveaway winners, which they're, I'm working on it, um, you know, Carolyn was sick last week, so the paychecks for this week are not going to be, you know, it'll be a rough week, but, you know, I'll definitely get them out, I'm not, you know, I saw a post from someone calling out someone for not sending out, um, a giveaway win, and I just, you know, I hate that it's taken me this long, and I know one of you has said, don't worry about it, I'm going to worry about it, I'm a warrior, <laughs> but, 
anyway, 2020, I want to do more collabs. So if anybody ever wants to hang out with me, on, you know, or wants to bring me on their channel to hang out and talk, I'm here. Um, obviously, I can't go live by myself because my laptop is sitting somewhere broken. Um, and I don't have a thousand subscribers to do it by myself. Um, so, I mean, and, and again, I want to thank, um, well, you know, people I've gone live with in the last couple of weeks and or so, um, it felt great going live with, uh, JC and Dre, um, about a month or two ago, I think it was like right around my, like right before my birthday, um, we did an episode of OSI and it was great being back with, with, with my brothers again. Um, J you know, when you get JC, Dre, and I on a chat together, all held him <laughs> break loose. Um, Lindsay B, uh, for bringing me on last week. Um, I enjoyed it. You know, again, anytime, anytime you need someone, you can let me know. As long as, as long as I am, uh, not dying or, you know, not busy, I'll definitely join you. Um, if anyone else wants to bring me on you know I'm, I'm here for you guys to hang out and talk with um it's really not a uh topic that i'm afraid to talk about except for anime I'm not an anime fan um and that's probably another reason why none of y'all want to watch my videos because i don't talk about dragon ball z or my hero academia or you know one piece or two piece or twenty piece 10 piece. All right, I'm hungry now. Nah, I'm just kidding. But, uh, no, um, like I said, hopefully 2020 will bring everyone what they want, everyone what they need. Those two may not be mutually exclusive, but, um, you know, hopefully we all can grow and we all can, uh, just have a good, a good prosperous year, whether it be um, you know, Facebook wise or, or in our, or in our everyday lives. Um, you know, that's more important. I think at the end of the day is your personal life than your YouTube life or your Instagram life. But, you know, you know, sometimes we, we, uh, we get those signals crossed and I did for a while. Um, as much as it, as much as my channel suffered for taking, you know, lengthy breaks and not doing videos. I'm personally, you know, doing a lot better than I was. Um, you know, just the personality shift sometimes is really all you need to get back to where you want to be. So, this is me hoping that, um, you know, we can get back to that forward progression. The 2018 was, was a huge year for, for me. Um, even in the short time that I, I was doing YouTube at that point, you know. So hopefully we can get back to that point. Um, but even if not, you know, I'm, you know, I'm still here for support. You know, if anyone needs anything, y'all let me know. Um, I guess on that point, I am going to end this video, and I will see y'all next next year. That's, no, I can end it on that note. Um, nah. Now we're going to end on that note. I'll see y'all next year. Maybe. Maybe one more video this year. We'll see.